Let's go to the doors of Parliament House. Matthias Cormann. For the future, and uh, I'm very much uh, looking forward uh, to doing everything I can uh, to support our new uh, Prime Minister, to support our uh, new uh, leader, uh, Malcolm Turnbull, in uh, making sure uh, that we are a very successful uh, government uh, which uh, will provide a good and strong and effective government uh, for the Australian people. And I will do everything I can uh, to uh, help our team uh, be successful uh, at the next election. Happy to take questions. You are also part of the team, if you like, that Malcolm Turnbull was very critical of when it comes to selling the economy. Uh, do you expect to retain your finance portfolio? Uh, look, everybody uh, knows how I have voted uh, in the uh, leadership ballot on uh, Monday night, uh, but uh, the uh, party uh, made a decision. Uh, I support. Uh, unequivocally uh, our new uh, leader. I'm a team player. I always have been, always uh, will be. Uh, Malcolm Turnbull uh, will have my uh, complete uh, and absolute and unequivocal and loyal uh, support as Prime Minister and uh, I will of course uh, support uh, his efforts in whatever capacity he sees fit. Do you agree with him that the salesmanship of the economy and what the government has done so far Look, we uh, can always uh, do better. Uh, obviously, uh, when we uh, came into government, uh, we inherited from the previous uh, Labor government a very challenging situation with a weakening uh, economy, rising unemployment, uh, a budget position which was uh, rapidly deteriorating uh, at a time when we were uh, facing uh, global economic challenges. The previous government, the previous Labor government, uh, put more and more lead into our saddlebag. So, uh, obviously, uh, we've been working over the past two years Years, uh, to improve our competitiveness uh, as an economy. Uh, we've been working uh, over the last uh, two years to uh, do everything we can to help business uh, be more successful in what are challenging, uh, challenging times. And uh, I look forward uh, uh, in the uh, months and uh, years ahead uh, to work uh, with uh, Prime Minister Turnbull uh, to do everything I can uh, to help put Australia on a stronger foundation for the future. What do you say to calls for ministers who supported Tony Abbott to stand down? Um, look, I mean, obviously uh, now uh, that the uh, decision of the party room was made uh, on uh, Monday night, it is incumbent on all of us uh, to uh, reunite uh, behind uh, the leadership team of uh, Malcolm Turnbull uh, and Julie Bishop. That is certainly uh, what I'm uh, calling uh, on all of uh, my colleagues to do. Uh, the Australian people uh, need us to provide a good and effective uh, government. Uh, I will uh, do everything I can uh, to help uh, Prime Minister Turnbull uh, and uh, our uh, leadership team with Julie Bishop and Warren Truss uh, to uh, uh, be uh, successful uh, in providing good government and in uh, winning the next election. Julie but Bishop the revealed... Is that still strong? And, uh, I suppose related to that, are you comfortable with an effects test? Uh, well, uh, the uh, agreement uh, with uh, the uh, National Party uh, was uh, essentially a formal uh, reconfirmation uh, of uh, existing uh, policies and existing uh, budget commitments uh, in the mine. Uh, there was also uh, in there a commitment for full cabinet consideration of uh, relevant uh, recommendations of the uh, Harper review into competition uh, policy and, and of course that, that is entirely uh, appropriate. Uh, I might just say here that there were some uh, reports uh, in the media today about the uh, cost of that agreement and let me just say that the uh, number that is quoted there uh, is uh, uh, not uh, correct. Uh, as, I've, as I've indicated, uh, the, uh, overwhelmingly uh, the uh, features of uh, that agreement are a formal reconfirmation of existing policy and existing uh, budget uh, commitments. Uh, the uh, part of the uh, agreement which deals with additional support for lower income uh, families is uh, something that uh, Minister Scott Morrison uh, has been discussing uh, with Senator Matt Canavan and other senators like Senator Bob Day and Senator John Madigan for some time. It's part of a broader uh, revised uh, families uh, package which will be uh, fully offset and as such uh, budget neutral and uh, I might just uh, say for completeness uh, that the uh, impact on the budget uh, bottom line uh, of uh, any uh, additional uh, spending measures uh, in the context of this agreement or any other decision of the government will of course be reflected in a half yearly budget update uh, later this year uh, and uh, the um, commitment of the government uh, is uh, to uh, offset any uh, new spending on uh, higher priority areas, on identified higher priority areas with uh, spending reductions uh, in other comparatively lower 
uh, priority areas. Last night, Julie Bishop revealed that she knew that Malcolm Turnbull was planning to challenge in the days leading up to it. Should she have informed Tony Abbott earlier? Uh, well, look, I I'm not going to... Uh, provide a running commentary uh, on the ins and outs. I mean, all of this is now ancient history. Uh, the uh, party uh, made a decision on Monday night. Uh, I support uh, the new leadership team. I support uh, Prime Minister Turnbull. Uh, and I think that all of us uh, now have to put uh, the past behind us. And we've got to look forward uh, to uh, being the best government we can be and uh, make, making the best possible uh, effort uh, to win the next election, because the Australian people uh, need us uh, to uh, defeat a, a very a poor alternative uh, government uh, led by a very poor and weak uh, alternative leader in Bill Shorten. It's expected that Scott Morrison will replace Joe Hockey as Treasurer. Should Mr Hockey resign? Uh, these are entirely matters uh, for the Prime Minister. Well, are you willing to report a view on, personal view on the effects test? Uh, because this is something that would uh, be seriously challenged by the, the supermarket chains and likely to push up costs for consumers as well. Is it worth that happening to, to all the national uh, look, I, I'll be, uh, obviously, I'll be uh, an active participant uh, in the uh, policy uh, conversation uh, in uh, all of our uh, relevant party forums and uh, obviously at the end of that process we'll be making a decision and I'm confident that it'll be the right decision. Thank you very much.